Hi, Scorpio. I'm Pam, and welcome to your Psychic Tarot reading for March 2021. This month I'm using the Hanson Roberts Tarot deck. And remember, these are general readings. And to get messages pertaining specifically for you, you would need a private reading. This recording is for Scorpio Sun, Scorpio Ascendant, and Scorpio Moon. Please be sure to watch your rising sign and your moon sign because some months they're going to resonate more for you than your sun sign will. And if you're born on the cusp of your sign, some months your psychic predictions and messages are coming to you from there. So you might want to check that out. So all that being said, Scorpio, now on to your March 2021 psychic tarot reading. First card you have, Scorpio, is the Ten of Rods, and this is moving on to new and better horizons with Ten Rods of Burden on your shoulder. That could be knowledge and experience that you've gained to help you as you move on to the new and better horizons. You may also be feeling overburdened by things in the month of March. I feel like you're going through some kind of like emotional transformation. It's like you're needing to break out of your own shell, your own skin, like to break out and and have different things to do, see different things, have different activities, uh, wanting to be inspired by different surroundings, even different activities, surroundings uh, and having different kinds of stimuli. If you feel overburdened by something, you may hire somebody to help you at this time. Maybe you need an assistant. Maybe you need to hire a landscaper, a housekeeper, a, uh, a personal assistant, somebody to run errands for you, a babysitter. Uh, you know, it'll be different for all of you, but you may consider hiring somebody. Could even be hiring somebody to do uh, painting, roofing, carpentry, handyman work also. I feel like you're going to have a lot of things that are going to be put in front of you in March that it's going to be like, I got to take care of all this stuff. I've got all these responsibilities. I've got all these things to take care of. And again, I'm going to repeat myself. For some of you, you will hire somebody to help you with that. Not all of you, but some of you Scorpios will. You're going to do some kind of looking into something on a fact-finding mission, and it's going to give you the answers that you want. For some of you, this could be vetting somebody. You could be vetting somebody like, do they ha are they upstanding? Do they have good credentials? Do they have any, uh, like doing background checks, things like that. It could also be any research that you're doing, like if you wanted to hire a carpenter, a handyman, a house painter, a, a nanny, uh, a babysitter, an assistant, a personal assistant, or anything like that, you may be doing research and investigating any of those people that you may want to hire. Some of you that may have been tired of traveling back and forth from where you live to work, you may be looking to move uh, to get a job closer to home or to work from home or to make some, some decision or choice could be made for some of you. If you're tired of a commute or uh, some distance you have to travel for some reason, you may try to find ways to do it from home or closer to your home. Some of you may get a, a new kind of license, accreditation or certification to do something. You know, maybe you're already doing work in a particular field, but if you get an additional license or permit or something, you can do more. Or maybe you have to get a license or a permit to do something at your location, at your home, even. So the next card you have is Two of Rods, and this is partnership in business, partnership in romance. It could also be something you're working on and creating, and then you're putting it out into the world. Be careful of what you eat. Be careful of what you eat, Scorpio. Make sure, I would really highly recommend buying organic food, 
in the month of March. If you buy any fruits, produce or vegetables, organic or not, even if it says it's organic, I would wash it very, very thoroughly. Be careful of if you go out to eat, because I feel like you could ingest something that might not be healthy for you. It could have some kind of chemicals in it is what I'm driving at here. You may be making adjustments to your finances and you may be in one uh, area and you want to transfer your funds over to another area. So this could be from one bank account to another. You could be trying to pay down your debt and moving finances from one place to another. Uh, you may have money invested in uh, like, I don't know, maybe you're in Merrill Lynch and you want to move to Charles Schwab or, you know, Fisher Investments. I don't know. You may be in one investment group. You want to move to a different company. It could be that. I do feel that many of you Scorpios will receive some kind of acknowledgement for a job well done in the month of March. You may be like kind of saying to yourself, I got to stay, uh, stay strict to the course that I'm on because maybe friends or things going on out in the world or some stuff you're watching on TV or something, um, or maybe even your own thoughts could be swaying you to like get off this path you're on or you're deviating from, but I get you're going to rein yourself back in and you're going to, maybe it's a diet you've been on or an exercise program and you're like letting yourself like float away from it. You're going to get back in gear, whatever it is, you're going to stay, uh, you're going to stick to a path that you have decided, even though I do feel like there's been temptations or you've been uh, distracted or swayed. I feel like you will get it back to the point of what you were originally on. You could have some hidden agreements. You could have some agreements or negotiations you make with somebody and you may want to keep them hidden. This could be like maybe you're making some agreement like, oh, I'm going to go work for you, but I'm not telling my boss because I'm not giving my two weeks notice yet. Or, you know, maybe you made some agreement like, OK, I'm going to hire you to do this work, but I don't want my spouse to know yet because they may not like it. Or my roommate might be upset if they know that I've decided to move out and get a place somewhere else. Like I get like secret agreements like you making agreements about something but keeping it under wraps who you're keeping it under wraps from Scorpio is going to be different for all of you you're going to finalize some things uh, uh, details plans documents or contracts that will end up getting something in motion maybe you're going to refinance your house or take out a second mortgage or buy a loan or list your house for sale, or agree to new parameters at a job, or at a, your job, or at a new job. But like, you know, like finalizing things, signing documents, agreements, details, this comes up here. You also have the six of rods. This is what's crowning your reading. This could be moving, moving from troubled shores to better shores. It could be moving uh, your residence. You could be moving your home. You could be doing some kind of long distance travel or travel. You could also be having to commute for work. Maybe you're going to get a new job and you're going to have a whole new commute to get there. If you have a big amount of money, I'm hearing the words $50,000, but it could be any amount of money that seems large to you. And if it's invested at a distance, and you haven't been able to go and check out that property, that place, or those investments, especially if it's in property, a home, land, or something, condo, townhome, house, land, you may go check on that investment. You may go check on it in March. Some of you are going to travel and visit someone at a distance. If, you, uh, if you're in a cold climate, you might be going to visit somebody in a warm climate or just a, a good friend or a family member or somebody. You, 
some of you Scorpios are going to go visit somebody at a distance. So if you're not checking up on an investment property that you have a lot of money invested in, you could be traveling to visit a family member or friend. I feel like some family members or people that are close to you are going to start seeing you differently. They may think, wow, Scorpio's changed a lot. Or, you know, it could be your appearance. Maybe you've lost weight. Maybe you've gained weight. Maybe you changed your hair or your wardrobe. Uh, but it could be even like maybe you're mellower than they remember. Maybe you've calmed down or maybe you're way more, you know, flamboyant and, and energetic. But I get family members or people that are very close to you are going to be looking at you in March and going, well, it's, uh, Scorpio, there's something different about Scorpio. They've changed somehow, you know. I don't feel it's in a negative way. I feel like this is positive. Some of you may start saving money and building up an account or putting money aside to take a big trip or to purchase expensive property that is at, well, it could, not all of you does it have to be at a distance. Some of you it might be. Some of you that want to list a place for sale in March, I feel you're going to have exceptionally good luck in selling it. And it doesn't just have to be a home. It could be uh, an RV, a boat, a camper, a trailer. It's something I feel like it would have to do with mobility and transportation or a property. To get more psychic messages and predictions from my spirit guides, please check the description box below this video for the links for my most recent videos for Vimeo. I look into very specific topics using a variety of divination tools to bring you more accurate predictions for your astrological signs. These links and descriptions are also available on the videos page of my website, www.theluckymermaid.com. Thank you. So, next card you have is Nine of Pentacles. This is a good card. This to me is often a Virgo card, but it's not necessarily, that's just what I see when I look at it. But this is being at peace and contentment with your life and having financial stability and abundance behind you. It's Nine of Pentacles. You're doing some kind of reassessing the value of things. And for some of you, it's reassessing the value of things in your home or that you own. Like, you know, maybe you have collectibles or jewelry or other expensive things and you may be getting appraisals, a property, uh, home, could be technology even. You may be getting appraisals, but you also personally maybe reassessing the value of things around you. And you could be doing that by looking it up on the internet, even like doing your own research and trying to, uh, you know, come up with estimates of value of things that you own. If you go after any kind of part in a play, movie, or a theatrical production of some sort, or a commercial, I feel that the Scorpios out there are very likely to get that part should you be auditioning in March or if you already auditioned prior to March, you may hear that you get the part in March of 2021. You could meet somebody that's going to give you a lot of insightful and interesting information and uh, like really like have a big conversation with them. This could be a good networking opportunity for you. This is probably somebody that would be either in the same field as you or is connected to something that you're trying to invest in or sell. Because I feel like this is somebody that's giving you valuable information and is also can, could be connected to work or property, work that you're doing, property that you're going to sell and get like, um, could be teaching you or educating you on like different methods you could use or different tactics, techniques, methods, 
and could be a good connector to you of other people. Like I go back to this card. If you're looking to hire anybody for anything, landscaping, personal assistant, nanny, babysitter, housekeeper, handyman, whatever, this person that I pick up that you could meet in March or April is going to be uh, like a good networking person that could give you like, hey, I know a great painter, uh, handyman, nanny, blah, blah, blah. They may give you, they may be like the middleman, the information bringer to you. If you get hired, uh, you may get hired to do a specific task that you could make some really good money for in this month. And it could be just like helping out a neighbor cut trees down, helping out a neighbor who's not well and you go do their food shopping for them or bring them meals. And they could end up paying you a chunk of money. And this may just be for a brief period of time of like a week or two weeks. So your last card of your reading for March is the Two of Swords. And the Two of Swords is, this could be you being protective of yourself, protecting your heart, protecting your emotions, being protective, self-protective. It could also be that something is a block, a stop, or a stalemate. There could also be unknown factors here, unknown to you that are going on. It could also indicate... Um, there's also emotions here tied up in this situation. You might even be having difficulty making a decision about something. You may find family members or certain family members problematic in March. You may feel like they're pushing you or pulling you or nudging you in different directions. So you could feel, and this could come from family too. It could be a combination of family and friends or friends and work or family and work but like I get like being pulled in uh, different directions here you may feel very much that you want to remain unbiased so this being pulled in different directions that could be people giving you this is my opinion this is my opinion this is my opinion this is my opinion and you may be like Oh my, I don't want to pick a side. I don't want to pick an opinion. I'm going to remain neutral and be unbiased. You may feel like there's somebody that's been controlling aspects of your life and you don't like it. So you have to ask yourself, who's, who's like pushing and pulling the strings around you or trying to control you? You may become very aware of it and be like, you know what? They're trying to control me and I don't like it. So you may, uh, if you didn't notice it before, it may be obvious to you in March. You may be also going out of your way to be very protective of your intellectual property and your investments or, and your money. So you may become very protective about those things in March. You could receive some kind of letter Telegram, letter, email, notification, that could stop you in your tracks. And I feel like whatever this is, it could be like something that then you have to consider. Like maybe somebody's going to give you an offer for your house and your house isn't even up for sale. Like, you know, maybe one of your neighbors... It, it's their son or daughter that's like, I want to live right next door to my mom or across the street from my aging family or I need to be near my daughter. And they may make some offer to you like, you know, I'll give you $500,000 for your house. I don't know. I'm just naming that. I'll give you $250,000 for your house or whatever it is. And you may be like, wait a minute, this is stopping me in my tracks. I wasn't planning on selling this place, but the amount of money they just gave me, I wouldn't be able to get that if I were to put it, list it for sale. So you might consider it. It could also be something like, we want you to be in charge of the branch and uh, it's going to be in Virginia and you live in California. And so now you have to decide are, am I going to be willing to move all the way across the country 
to take that like be in charge boss kind of job it could stop you in your tracks and you might be like it doesn't mean you have to do it i feel like it's an option but i feel it's going to be tantalizing enough that you're actually going to maybe have to struggle a little bit to consider it like what do you want to do now some of you may be like no way i'm not moving or no way i'm not selling this house i don't care how much they offer me i'm staying right here some of you it might not be hard to decide but for some of you i feel like it is so the best gemstone crystal i got for scorpio for the month of march 2021 is amethyst so this would be the best gemstone crystal for you to put on your third eye chakra your throat chakra your heart chakra when you meditate uh, you could get a beaded bracelet or wear a crystal uh, pendant of it whatever the gemstone is when it touches your skin you receive the maximum benefits of the gem when it touches you this is going to help you put a plan in motion that you've had buzzing around in your head or that has been asleep or stagnant for a while this is going to be really good for you if you have to hire anybody because I'm hearing your on your intuition about people. It's going to be on fire if you use this stone, carry it, wear it, whatever, when you're having to make decisions, especially if you have to hire anybody. This gemstone is also going to be very helpful for Scorpio to tap into their messages coming to them from your spirit guides so amethyst is going to help you connect with the angelic realms and your spirit guides in the month of march it's actually going to help you also my guides are saying help you make decisions better and maybe even quicker so if you have decisions that pop up because you had some that look like they are going to pop up in march this is going to help you make those decisions. It's also going to help you open up your mind to be receptive to new ideas and new perspectives as well. So it's going to be like opening up your mind to look at new angles, which I think Scorpios usually I feel are pretty open and receptive to new thoughts and ideas. Uh, I don't feel like you're overly stuck where you won't do that but this is just going to help accentuate it in the month of march so i hope these messages were of help to you and i hope they made sense as always thank you so very much for watching i do truly appreciate it and please like share and subscribe and hit that notification bell when you do subscribe that way you'll get notified when i upload my videos here to youtube and if you would like to get more psychic predictions and messages from my spirit guides channeled through me on a variety of very specific topics using different divination tools, you can get my Vimeo videos, which I post the most recent links below, down in the description box in the show more section, or you can get them on my website, www theluckymermaid.com. Go to the videos tab on my menu and there you will see all the video series I have done and the descriptions and you just click on the sign you want, the zodiac sign you want, and it will take you to that video on Vimeo. Now some of the most recent video series links I have posted below. As always, every month I do psychic crystal readings for whatever month we're in for each sign of the zodiac so if you want to get a continuation of this reading and for march of 2021 for your sign you can get that psychic crystal reading by clicking on that link below some of the other most recent video series i've recorded is my big love psychic tarot and crystal readings for 2021 for both singles and couples that's a very popular series. It was my, it's usually my most, one of my most requested series. That link is below this video. There also, uh, very popular has been my Saturn in Aquarius psychic tarot and crystal readings. Those predictions start in December 17th of 2020 
and go all the way for three years out until March 7th of 2023. Many people have written me and found that they were very accurate and interesting for them. But remember, those predictions are going to take three years to come out. So if you want to see what's going on there, you might want to check out the Saturn in Aquarius readings. Also, uh, we are still in the process of the two eclipses that we experienced. First one is the full moon lunar eclipse in Gemini, November 30th, 2020. Psychic tarot, crystal, and oracle card readings for each sign of the zodiac. Those predictions go out six months, so they go all the way until May of 2021. If you haven't checked them out yet, you might want to. And then I use the exact same format for the eclipse that we had in December, solar eclipse in Sagittarius, December 14th, 2020. Uh, that is also psychic tarot, crystal, and oracle card readings, same format as the other eclipse readings. And those predictions go out until the end of May or the beginning of June of 2021. Also, if you haven't gotten it yet, my Psychic Tarot readings for the year of 2021 for each Zodiac sign, there's 14 Tarot cards that I pulled for each sign and gave you predictions and messages there. If you haven't checked them out, that link is also below in the description box in the Show More section. If you would like to help support the readings I do here and on my channel, you can donate to my channel with the PayPal link that I have posted below underneath all the different video series I've mentioned. And I truly appreciate those who have been very generous and donated. It does help a lot and I do appreciate it. So thank you so much for that. Um, if you would like to get more psychic predictions and messages from my spirit guides channel through me that you're not going to see here, you can follow me on my social media pages at The Lucky Mermaid LLC on Facebook, The Psychic Pastry Chef LLC also on Facebook, and The Lucky Mermaid underscore Pam Georgell on Instagram. I use a variety of divination tools and give you psychic predictions and messages there. Many people ask me, well, what sign? You're not doing it by the sign. It, it's just like one reading. I believe if you're directed to go look at it, you're going to get some messages and predictions that will apply to you. And they're not just for the day I post the prediction. They could be a week out, two weeks out, a couple months out. It all depends on what my spirit guides say and what card I've pulled or what crystal I've used or uh, what oracle card I've used. So you have to see what's going on over there, and I would love to see you on my social media pages. So I hope you have an absolutely outstanding and amazing month of March. And know that I wish you many blessings and peace.